Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great. Okay, so we're going to continue our lessons on two over one. Uh, this is lesson five, responding to opener's response after a no trump. So let's take a look at that. So opener bids a heart. We respond one no trump. Opener bids two clubs. And now what do we do? Okay. So if we've got a really weak hand, we can potentially pass with four plus clubs. Now, if you're playing the variant where the two club bid could be a two card suit, then it's probably not likely, it's probably not a good idea to pass with four clubs. So more often than not, um, you're going to actually bid two hearts with this kind of hand. But if you do pass, then you should really have four clubs in your hand and a weak hand. So sort of like a six count or something like that, six, seven count, and you're just going to pass. Two diamonds is natural, denies three card major support, and is non-forcing. So all of these bids are non-forcing because, remember, you've bid a no trump now. So you've kind of limited your hand to some extent to a 12 count. So two diamonds here you can play as natural, and you're not going to have three card hearts support for sure. You should really support hearts and play in a five three fit minimum, even if you've got like a six card diamond suit or something like that, because hearts is the major at the end of the day. Two hearts, usually two card support, could be three on a very poor hand. Um, so when you bid, um, just going to back to basic bidding, if you bid a heart and then you bid two hearts, that should show seven to nine points and three card heart support. So here, if you have less than seven points and three hearts, you can bid one no trump with three card heart support. OK, and then when partner bids two clubs, now you can bid two hearts. So really what he's showing is like a five or six points okay with three card heart support or you've got a doubleton with more points okay but if you do have three card heart support you're generally going to have less than seven points two spades okay this is a fancy bit this is what's known as the impossible two spades now this shows a good hand with good club support or whatever suit was bid here so if it went a heart one no trump two diamonds the two spade bid would be the impossible two spades so I've got a whole separate video on the impossible two spades and you can watch that where I go over some hands and stuff. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below. But basically two spades here. The reason why it's impossible is because rather than bid a no trump here, you should have bid a spade in the first place. So if you've actually got spades, you should bid a spade here. And that is why it's called the impossible two spades. When you bid two spades now, you can't suddenly possibly have spades all of a sudden all right so it, it makes no sense to have spades when you could have bid it at the one level so it's called the impossible two spades for that reason but it's got um the reason why you would bid it is to show good club support okay so rather than just bidding um uh, three clubs which we'll get onto it shows a stronger hand so two no trumps is natural shows 11 to 12 high card points invitational and three clubs is uh, at least four clubs. Remember, a lot of the time you probably should have five clubs because partner could here have only three card club suit or even only a two card club suit. If partner has the two card club suit, you can't possibly be raising on just a four card club suit. OK, so. The re here you're, you're not showing a stronger hand and not showing a stronger raise. So two spares here shows a stronger raise in clubs. So basically it's a good raise in clubs where bidding three clubs is not as good a raise. All right. So here you might have, you might even have six clubs or even seven clubs for your two spade bid. All right. You're showing a very good, uh, you know, you, you could have like 11 points and five clubs or 11 points and six clubs and not be able to bid two clubs over one half. So that's the kind of hand you're going to have for this impossible two spades. And three clubs is just going to be a standard kind of lesser of a hand, okay? But a lot of the time, you still might have a five-card club suit for if you bid three clubs because you've got other bids available like bidding two no trumps or bidding two hearts or even three hearts, potentially. Three diamonds is going to be a good six-card suit. Remember, partner's got five hearts, so... You really don't want to be bidding three diamonds on just a five card diamond suit. Partner could have no diamonds in the hand. So you don't really want to go to three diamonds with just a um, 
you know, and playing a five nil fit or something like that. So you're going to need a, a good six card suit there. And obviously, again, that's going to be non forcing because you bid a no trump opposite a heart. And then three hearts is your three card limit raise. So whenever you've got 10 to, you know, 11 points, things like that, um, this is where you're going to have 11 points and three hearts. And that's where you show your three card um, heart support. Okay, one spade, one no trump, two clubs. What are you going to bid? Again, pass, weak. So we've covered this on the previous slide. Two diamonds, again, natural, denies, three card uh, spade support. So you should have a five card diamond suit here again. Two hearts, five plus natural, denies, three card major support. Okay, so you've got a five card heart suit. So two diamonds, two hearts, both natural, showing at least a five card suit. And also, you're most likely not going to have three card spade support. Okay, because what you're offering here is a pl another place to play where you don't really want to play in two spades. That's kind of what you're saying to partner here. Two spades, usually two card support, off, and can be three card if you're very weak, as discussed on the previous uh, hand slide. Two, two no trumps, 11 to 12 high card points, invitational. So you notice here, the impossible two spade bid has now gone. In the previous slide, we could use it because we opened a heart. But here, because we're bidding... <clears throat> Um, because we're bidding, um, because we've opened one spade, two spades is now just natural. So it's not an impossible two spades. Also, we can't have the impossible two heart bid as well. All right. Um, because we couldn't bid one heart at the one level because partner bid a spade. All right. So it only applies when partner opens um, a heart a lot of the time when we're using this impossible two spades. So three clubs now is just a good raise, okay, in clubs, a, a normal kind of raise. But now we can we can be quite rangy in our three club bid. We, we, we could just have a kind of basic kind of um, raise, or we could have a quite a decent hand, okay. Uh, we could have like a, a, a potentially a five-card club suit and 11 points, okay. Um, or we could have like a five-card club suit and say a seven count even okay we could just be making a, a sort of raise because there's two club bid here this two club bid could be made on say you know an 18 count not a not a strong enough bid to bid three clubs because remember when the bidding goes one spade one no trump three clubs that should be game forcing all right so we might not have a hand strong enough to bid three clubs with but it could go up to potentially 18 points so here we're just making a sort of a standard kind of raise in clubs. Remember, if, if partner's very weak, yeah, there is a danger of going off in three clubs. But also the chances are is that the opponents have probably got something on in heart. So if we were to pass two clubs, they might well come in anyway. OK, so three clubs has got that, um, you know, it makes it makes it harder for the opposition to find a fit in the red suits. Three diamonds, three hearts, a good six card suit. Okay. And three spades, a three card limit raise. So, in other words, this hand shows um, sort of 11 points and three card spade support. Okay. So, look at one heart, one no trump, two hearts. What do we bid after this? <clears throat> Pass, nothing more to say. So, that's obvious. Uh, this isn't a forcing bid, two hearts. So, we can just pass it out. Got nothing more. Two spades again, the impossible two spades. Now, I play this as 5-5 five, five in the minors, okay, and no heart tolerance. If you've got hearts, you'll just simply raise in hearts. So you can bid three hearts or four hearts, which we'll get to next. So here, this is a way to show 5-5 um, five, five in the minors. Again, we can't possibly have spades because we would have bid a spade over a heart. Two no trumps, 11 to 12 high card points, invitational. Three clubs of three diamonds, and uh, six suit card suit, non-forcing, no tolerance for partners major. Three card, uh, three hearts, three card limit raise or two card if this shows six. Because remember now, this two heart bid could be, uh, could be potentially a five card heart suit, depending on whether you're playing shape or strength. Okay, partner could have four spades, five hearts, and two two in the minors. If you're playing that variation, then two hearts here might only show a five-card suit. 
So here, three hearts would be a three card limit raise or two card if this shows six. All right. Four hearts. OK, so three card limit raise maximum hand if you know this shows six hearts. OK, so let's have a look at some practice bidding. So again, pause the um, pause the frame now. So one heart, one no trump, two clubs. What are you going to bid with this hand? So here we only got a seven count. We're just going to make a three a three club raise. We've got good clubs, okay, and we don't want the opposition coming in in spades. So if we were to pass this out in two clubs, then the opposition might well find our find the spade fit. So here we're going to make a kind of preemptive raise in some respects, okay. We've got a seven count and partners open, so the points might well be balanced, okay. Partner can still have a strong hand, remember as well. So we're going to bid three clubs. So if partner's weak, they can just pass. If partner's got like an 18 count, then potentially five clubs could be a great contract. So we're going to bid three clubs. Okay, this time we've got an 11 count. Again, this time now we bid two spades. So this is the impossible two spades. Now we're showing a good raise in clubs. So we're kind of top of our range for our one no trump. And we've got good clubs. So this is the difference here between these, this just supporting clubs and then making the impossible two spades. Okay, two hearts. Okay, so here we've got a very weak hand, five five hearts. Sorry, we've got a very weak hand with five points and three card heart support. So we were too weak to bid two hearts. Um, some people might argue that this is still a two heart bid, okay, uh, because of the way they've put the diamonds and stuff like that. But if you if you change the hand slightly and give maybe give them king to three clubs and queen to five diamonds, then it's a really trashy hand, but it's a hand that you'd probably want to respond. Okay, so we're going to bid two hearts here to show. Now, partner doesn't know that we've got three hearts, okay? But we could have two hearts or three hearts with this hand. But we're not sure. It's not forcing or anything like that. All right, so one heart. One no trump, two clubs, and we've got this hand. Now we've got three card heart support. We've got an 11 count. So what do you think we're going to bid? Yeah, we jumped to three hearts. All right, so this shows three hearts and sort of that 11 count kind of hand. Okay, this time we're going to bid three diamonds. We don't have a tolerance for hearts. Okay, and we've got our own suit. So we're going to bid... Jump up to three diamonds to show we've got a six card diamond suit. That's a decent suit. We've got a decent -ish hand. Okay, but we're not, we weren't good enough to bid two over one with this hand. It's not quite there. Uh, this hand, so it's gone a heart, one no trump, part of it's two clubs. Okay, so remember, we've got four clubs, but rather than bidding, say, three clubs, this hand's not very good partner could only have two or three clubs so we're going to play in our five two heart bit so we're going to bid two hearts okay alternative we could pass but again we could be we could be playing in a four two club fit or a four three club fit so you're better off bidding two hearts here with this kind of hand rather than passing okay so that's something to think about um if you if you're not used to this uh, system that is something that you might have to get your head around a bit okay Look at some more, some more testers for you. So this time it's going to heart and no trump. They bid two hearts. What are we going to bid with this? Okay, so we can just simply pass. All right, we've got nothing more to say. Don't really want to venture to three clubs level. Okay, partner could have no clubs in the hand and they could have six hearts or even seven hearts in the hand. So let's play in potentially a six one fit. Okay, partner might not have um six hearts even remember though partner could be four five two two if you're playing that variant what are we going to do here okay so now we can play the impossible two spades this shows five five in the minors so it's a bit of a um you know if you're a newbie this might be a bit of a tricky bid to understand but here we've got no tolerance for hearts and we're hoping to find maybe a 5-3. If partner's got six hearts, they, hopefully they've got three diamonds or three clubs. Worst case scenario, we're going to play in a 5-2 minor fit. But a lot of the time, we can find a 5-3 minor fit, which might well play better 
and playing in two hearts. So here you can bid two spades and then partner can just bid three clubs or three diamonds. So again, this is the impossible two spades. 10 count. We're going to jump to three hearts. You show 10 to 12 points and three card heart support. Got nice key cards. The only thing bad about this hand is we're very flat. Okay. So we've got nothing really to rough. Um, 12 count. Again, three hearts. You could potentially bid four hearts because you are top of the range. Okay. So we, this is the sort of hand where you might decide, well, I'm maximum here. I've got a 12 count. I'm just going to bid four hearts. The downside to this hand is that you're completely flat. All right. You don't have anything to rough. So I'd have something, you know, if partner's got six hearts, then I think you should definitely be bidding four hearts with this hand. But if partner's only guaranteed five hearts, then you might want to backpedal a little bit, a little bit and just bid three hearts with this. OK, 12 count. So we could bid two no trumps. We could bid three hearts. Now, this depends on whether you're playing six card heart suit or not. Again, if you're playing a six card heart suit, you could potentially uh, bid four hearts. OK, with this, if you're only playing a five card heart suit, then two no trumps seems a pretty reasonable bid as well. Um, some people would argue you might want to bid three no trumps. OK, you've got a 12 count. OK, um, that's kind of up to you. This time we've got a long club suit and avoiding hearts. So now we're just going to bid three clubs. OK, we've got at least a six card club suit. We don't really like hearts. And this is, again, non-forcing. OK. One heart, one no trump, two no trumps. How do we respond over that? OK, pass. Uh, this is to play uh, minimum. So partner's shown a strong can with the two no trumps. We're now just going to pass. Three clubs, three diamonds. OK, six plus, non-forcing, very weak hand. Three hearts. This could be two card heart support or a very bad three card heart support. OK, so this is his hand with, say, five points and three three hearts, say. Three no trumps, six plus to play. Remember, the two no trumps is showing 18 to 19 points. So here we're only going to pass two no trumps with a bad six count or even a five count if we bid a no trump on a five count. Four hearts, three card limit raise, 10 to 12 high card points. All right, one heart, one no trump. This time partner reverses and bids two spades, showing a strong hand. Okay, so whatever you're playing, shape or strength, two spades is always going to be a strong hand there. So two no trumps, six to seven high card points, invitational. So this is non-forcing. Three clubs of three diamonds. Again, non-forcing, no tolerance for the majors, showing a very weak hand. Three hearts could have a very, you know, like a five count and three heart support, something like that, and think that hearts is better than playing in no trumps. Again, so this is non-forcing. Three spades, I put a joke here, call the impossible three spades. There is no such convention as the impossible three spades. Um, I, I've put it there <clears throat> as... You know, you, you could potentially play this as showing a good, a very good raise in hearts. OK, top of your range kind of thing. That's a possibility. But another alternative, <clears throat> which I'd say is more common here, is that you're kind of willing to play in a 4-3 spade fit. All right. <clears throat> so I think I'd, I'd bid three spades here as showing, as showing that kind of hand. Three no trumps, eight to 12 high card points. Remember, partners bid two spades, so they've got a shot strong hand. They're going to have like at least 17 a lot of the time. So we only need eight points to go to three no trumps. Uh, four hearts, three card limit raise in the heart suit. OK, so again, it's practice hands. So one heart, one no trump, two no trumps. What are we going to bid with this? So here we can just pass. OK, so remember, two no trumps isn't forcing by the up here we've got a five count we decided that we weren't going to pass one heart with this hand because we thought maybe we can find a, a better contract than playing in one heart uh when well, we might only be in a five one fit and maybe two no trumps is better than playing in one heart so here we're just going to pass again we've got another uh terrible hand we decided to bid a no trump 
And now we're just going to bid three diamonds as a partner. I've got a weak hand with uh, a long diamond suit. It uh, should have at least six diamonds. Okay. Now we've got an easy three no trump bid. Partner shown a strong hand, and we got a 10 count. So we don't have hearts, we don't have spades. We've got the minor stopped. We can simply bid three no trumps. Six count. Okay. We can just bid three hearts. So a minimum we've got shown is five, six count with uh, three hearts. An 11 count. Okay, now we can just raise to four hearts. So we've got that hand that we couldn't bid support hearts straight away. Um, but we've got a, a strong hand so we can jump from two no trumps and bid four hearts, bid straight away to the game. Um, five count, again, we could pass. Or we could potentially, oops, excuse me, we could potentially bid three hearts. Okay, so sometimes we can, we can decide to um, support on two cards. If you think that maybe playing in three hearts might be safer than playing in two no trumps, or we can just pass. Okay, so one heart, one no trump, two spades. Partner showing a strong hand. Again, we can bid three hearts to show. Um, two or three hearts and we prefer this contract to playing in two no trumps but we're not showing a strong hand when we bid this partner shouldn't just bid four hearts because unless they've got a very good hand um we we're not showing anything good here three diamonds again we've got a weak hand with six diamonds two no trumps Okay, so the bottom end of our no trump range. Again, this is non-forcing. Partner can pass it. Here, three spades. So here we've got, we're saying to partner, you know, there's a case here for playing in four spades and playing in our four free fit. Um, but you might actually bid three no trumps. Okay, with this hand, you've got the minors. You might actually uh, bid three no trumps in fairness with this hand. Um, 10 count. Okay, this is a hand you're going to bid three no trumps. Okay, and then we just bid four hearts with this hand. Okay, we've got 10 to 12 points. We've got three card heart support. So we're going to bid the game. Okay, so um, the next lesson will be in the description below or the comments. And we've only got one more lesson to go. So hopefully you're learning something from this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, hope you have a good rest of your day.